Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome to Graveyard Keeper. Now this is something that I have played loads of in my spare time and I've never finished the game, I've never seen it all the way through to the end and I've never done any videos or anything on it so I don't know, I think I might have streamed a little bit of it a long time ago. I forget, but you know, I was, I was thinking about how a lot of the games that I've been playing recently have been very serious, very dour and I wanted something that was a little bit more kind of light-hearted, a little bit more friendly, so we're going to go and be an undead graveyard keeper looking for a way home. I don't know, this is kind of bleak in its own way really, isn't it? Never mind, let's start. It is an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. And that's the way we start the game. <laughs> what happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll sort you, help you sort everything out. Who? Yeah, what a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's go find Jerry. Yes, let's. I haven't got anything in here. Okay. What do I... I don't have anything to start with. Okay. Uh, I forget because... Yeah, place for wood logs. Uh, place for stones. Welcome to our little home. Home sweet home. In fact. Oh. We've still got Halloween stuff up. Okay, that's cool. Right. Let's dig up Jerry. <laughs> Holy sod, I'm a skull. Yes, you are. Are you Jerry? Mm, why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember. Oh, sod, that's right. I'm Jerry. How did you find me? Well, the man told me you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you and where the sod are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Mm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And that donkey. Something's very wrong with that animal. It could be dangerous. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. You do that, Jerry. I'll go and talk to the donkey. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. Got a fresh corpse from the town! Wow, a talking donkey. You... you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labour. This cart isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Farewell, comrade donkey. <laughs> Communist ass. Or ass, sorry. What's up, Jerry? How's it going? Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun, and it might be profitable. No, I'm gonna puke. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, pick that up. And I'll drag it in here. Sod. I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sard up and do what I tell you. 
You promised you'd tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. <laughs> then bring the beer to me. Ah, uh, Jerry, you and your alcoholism. Alright, so dump you on there, and then we can start digging parts out of it. So, if any of you aren't particularly familiar with this, um, it's kind of like the, the kind of part of the game where, well, the idea is, corpses get delivered here, I prep them for burial, and then the, the kind of quality of the body that I'm left with uh, will improve, like, the rating in the graveyard, and we'll kind of get more into that later, but... I can also use the flesh for cooking meat. <laughs> That's disgusting. I know, isn't it just? You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Okay. I, I'm trying to bring the, the corpse. Stop dropping it. Ooh, we've got fucky. Oh, look at our crappy dilapidated old graveyard. Let's bury it. So, I need to go... Ooh, thank you. I need that. I need to put a gravesite in. So, dump that there. And we'll start digging this out. Yeah. Chuck you in. And... Boop. Nice. Nicely done. Thank you. Mm, this burial certificate. I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Mm. I sure used to like it. A lot. No, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. <sighs> oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know... something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. See you, Jerry? Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Oh, no. Maybe because it's part of your job, you pompous old fuck. <laughs> Oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm, we've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Understood. Okay, now great wooden markers. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five skulls, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. <laughs> I'm good at everything, that's why I was chosen to represent his will. <laughs> Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... I forget what they actually call that, I'm just going to call it Sunday. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory, ha <laughs> ha. I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Well, oh, marvellous. Okay, let's leave for now. Uh, yeah, I know I can craft stuff. Leave me alone. Stop. Calm down. Oh, God. Everything's going mad. Right, there should be some stuff in here. I'll have all that. I'll have that, 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 and that. And I believe I can equip some stuff, which I have already done. Great. Okay, so i got to clear this up. So, the this little thing up here is our graveyard quality. So that's the score that we get for you know the maintenance of the of the place essentially. Uh, each grave will have like its own little thing so that will be based on the quality of the body and then the quality of the things that we put on it which we can obviously expand upon and upgrade over over time once we unlock certain technologies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the way it works is that these will have, like, these will add, like, a, a, a number to the overall thing, but it's based off this in its entirety. So, we need to combine the white skulls with these to actually get points. 
if these red skulls are here, um, like these have to outmatch that just to even get one. So it only starts counting from here, pretty much. So it takes a while to get things going. But we can make a little bit of a start by just doing some of this. Let's get all of this out of here. Because that gets me a couple of materials and little bits that I can use. These little um, orbs that I'm picking up as well, uh, red, green, and blue, they're for research or technology, you know, unlocking upgrades and stuff. Okay, I need to follow this arrow. I don't remember where it's going to lead me. I think it's going to the town. It's a bit of a long walk. Be there in a minute. But yeah, we have six days throughout the week. Each of them is um, named after a different one of the seven sins. Um, I can't remember which one is excluded. Because there's only, obviously only six of them. But now we've got Wrath, Pride, uh, Lust. I think Sloth might be the one that's missing. But I don't, I don't remember. I normally like just go like, this looks like a sun, so Sunday, Moon Day. Uh, <laughs> that sort of thing, so. We'll, we'll just faff about with it as we go. So, hello to Horadric, the bartender. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Horridric, how can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognised you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can we help you? Okay, about the burial certificate. Uh, as the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? Well, the village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Right, ask him about all of this stuff. Uh, can you tell me where I am? Because I really need to get home. My darling will be so worried. Oh, you're the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I travelled through time. And what year is it now? You? What do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the Sun. Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows the Earth is flat. But I get you. It's 200 after the ancient contract, and 210 after... Never mind. <laughs> What's the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. And it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? Uh, I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. But I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. <laughs> royal meat stamp is one hell of a euphemism. <laughs> uh, I never really said it out loud, so I hadn't thought about it before now. Uh, many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Uh, actually, no, I have not stamped my meat. Well, I don't even want to know where you can get author unauthorised meat, but, well, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the Royal Court through the mailbox near your church, but it will cost you a bundle. Well, there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbours. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Ms. Charm. She comes here every ladies' day. Uh, I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Right. Uh, let me trade with you. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, I need to take the letter down to the blacksmith. We're gonna find him. Southeastern corner of the village. Right. And I can sell you that to you for a little bit of money. And I'm also gonna buy the teleport stone strip. No, not because I haven't got enough money. 
Never mind, I was gonna buy that. Mm, I can't. Alright. Hello? Oh, make her. Yeah. <laughs> you must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told, but how did you know? Yeah, oh, if you lived here as long as I have, you'd probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Chain, Horridrick's wife. I, I often wonder if her first name is Borland. So, who knows. Uh, nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, oh, you better talk to my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Oh, well, let's see what you've got. Chances are I can't afford them yet. Mm, definitely not. I can afford re the recipe for pies. Which is good, because I do like pies. And he doesn't like pie. Pie is fucking delicious. I don't know if I'm going to be able to speak to the blacksmith yet, though. He's not down here. He's over here. Oh, I can speak to him. Cool. Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kreswold. Alright, well, here's your letter. I have a letter for you from Horridrick. A letter? Of course, one minute away, he can't be bothered to come himself. Uh, I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging, it seems to be my new habit. Mm, slimes again. Horridrick has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone at the grinder right behind me. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. Uh, right, yeah. I'll bring you the remains, do not worry. Okay, and let me chuck this on here. Grind away. Ta-da! Rusty sword. Now, huh. get you buggers. Nice little bit of simple combat. Good. All right. Uh, oh, I can also ask him about where to find metal ore, which is swamp soil to the west. Yeah, I've got to repair the bridge to get to it though. So that's something to look forward to. But here's the. Uh... Ooh, okay. <laughs> Take this whetstone just to sharpen your broken tools and they'll be good as new. Thank you very much. And now I can make jelly. You don't want to make jelly. Right, what do I need to do now? Uh, I need to get a beer for Jerry, reach five at the graveyard, find a stamp, and... Oh yeah, return to Horadrek. It's good you know how to use a sword. Cresvold told me about how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Very nice. Thank you very much. I'm going to give that to Jerry now. So, with each day, each different day, uh, a new principal character for the story comes along. So, on like Sunday, um, the bishop will be out by the church. On this day, uh, Ms. Charm will be in the pub. Uh, she's someone that we need to deal with for certain quest lines. The next day along... Oh, fucking hell. Uh, come here. Where you been? It was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. Everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sod, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Cool. Wheat, exactly. I remember breaking bread from it. And pies. Mmm, sweet berry pies. Toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. So, do you know what? I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff. Like how you can get home. Questions? Uh, how can I get home? Yes, can you tell... It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? Well, technically, yes. 
Sod, you smart ass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. <laughs> He's a little shit. Um, yeah, so I think the next day along is... I think that's Gluttony. Um, there's a merchant character who shows up in the town. Next day along, we get to deal with Snake. Then this one is, as far as the story goes, is called Pride Day. Um, and that one we get to deal with the Inquisitor, who's a really nasty bugger. And then uh, Moon Day, as I call it, is uh, when the Astrologer shows up, I think. We find him over at the lighthouse. Which is all the fucking way over to the right. And uh, there's a ton of shit down it. What's that sound? Ah, there we are. That's that snake. Damn gate. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. I'm sure you will. You'll get through it with a little help from your friends. Looks like I can remove this. I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. Yes, we can, but we need some stuff to be able to do that, which we're nowhere near doing at the moment. So for now, I'm gonna smash all this shit up and get myself some things to work with. The one thing about this game is it just kind of you, you get kind of buried in all the different tasks that you end up having to do because you've got loads of different NPCs that you need to do different tasks for. Ah, some wheat and not enough energy. Okie doke. Let's go and have a nap. But different storylines for different characters kind of interweave. So you have to do something for, you know, one character in order to get something done with another. And all the while you're trying to maintain things like the graveyard and upgrading your church and, and all this other stuff. And oh, hello. I'm so refreshed. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hey, a kipper. Well, I've been here for... Hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait. No, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbour instead. That sound like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, oh, the half-dead skull. That jealous bastard. Uh, he can only dream of what peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river? I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Mm -hmm. Exhumation permissions. So, let's go and... Dig up a body. Now these exhumation permissions are going to become very handy later on, because a lot of these corpses are pretty crap quality. One thing that you can do with them is... Actually, do I want to dig you up? Or do I want to dig up one of the really bad ones? Ah, fuck it. We'll, we'll just go with this one. It doesn't really matter which one you dig up. You get the same, like, things progress as they normally would anyway. Alright. Let's get down here. And I'll fling this bugger in the river. Hey! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> what do you think you're doing here? The ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're gonna do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. <laughs> He's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends. 
but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Well, do you know where that river leads? The river. Somewhere down to the town, I think. And how can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. <laughs> Thanks. Exactly! That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and some wood. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. And where can I burn it? A nice quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance, near the cliff. Right, um... Okay. Ah, cool, right, so... Uh, do I have map access? I do, good. So, sweet home is here, we've got a kitchen garden down that way. Uh, the morgue, the old graveyard. West of here is a swamp. Going up northwest, we can go up to a quarry where we can get lots of stuff like stone and iron later on. Um, for now, we're going to be working things fairly small. Um, this is the spot that Jerry was on about. We can set up um, pyres for burning corpses. Let's go and give him his beer, though. I might shut him up about some stuff. Where's my beer? There you are. Oh, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. Today you whisper that to a drinking buddy in a tavern and tomorrow your face is on every pole in the town. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right, I should be more careful. So what was your question? How can I get home? Easy. I'm sure you could use the portal on which hill. So I just need to go through it, or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow. The church has a library in its cellar. Or maybe astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. <laughs> a wonderful little bit of backstory there. How can I get to the library? Obviously through the church. And I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish, this... Oh, sad. I've got no answer to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails. And once... You know what? I need to go. <laughs> sure, sure, it's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. <laughs> Jerry is a um, skull with his priority set. Uh, ask about the astrologer. Oh, he's so smart and very cheerful. Oh, I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best. He was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon day. And where's the lighthouse? Somewhere near... let's see... Sod it, I don't remember. All these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. Alright. See you later. See you later, Jerry. Uh, how long is it going to be before Donkey brings me another body? I've got work to do. On that note, I should start sorting out the yard. Because I'm going to need some stations to be able to make stuff. Right, what can I build? Cleared some space. I can make a furnace already. Hmm. No, I do need flitch for that. Okay, I think I need to re I need to unlock some technologies first. So we've got the concept of wood and the concept of stone. We understand what these things are, which is always helpful. So I think first things first, we're gonna need a sawhorse. So let's Unlock that. Mm. And then do I want to go with stone cut or stone working? I'm not sure. So cooking, we don't have like an actual tech tree. We just buy or unlock recipes based on things we do for different characters. 
This is all related to wood, stone, various different building things, um, a lot of stuff to do with ores. Smithing is related to, obviously, smithing stuff, um, crafting various components like new tools, weapons, uh, and that kind of thing. Farming in nature is all kind of like gardening based. Book writing comes along later. Theology is stuff to do with the graveyards and the church, a lot of decoration things, that kind of stuff. And then anatomy is all, um, you know, digging parts out of bodies, essentially. I don't know what I want to go with first. Might go for simple graveyards, or simple gravestones, because then we can start improving the uh, actual graveyard, which would be very handy. But first up, let's build a sawhorse. Just drop that there. Ta-da! What can I make with this? Wood bullets and flitch. And I can make wooden markers. Right, do I need... What is it on building? Oh, I think it's the carpenter's workbench is what I actually need. But we needed that first, so... That's good. And I can't chop down these big trees yet. I can chop down littler ones. Very handy. We can start getting logs which we can cut further down into things like flitch and then whatever else we might need. Uh, these ones I can't work with. Uh, bugger. What do I need for? Oh, if I can get to that, that'd be bloody handy. Theology. Where are these made? Carpenter's workbench. Yeah, that's what I need to unlock. I need a little bit more in the way of red orbs or red points, which I get for doing kind of manual labor type stuff. So let's go go and get some stone. I should do the trick. Okay, I've got enough. Let's get woodworking. Unlock that. And to make a carpenter's workbench, I need five flitch. So, just set one of these, get sawing, and we're done. But now I'm exhausted, so I need to go to bed. Story of my life. Oh, Yorick's back. Good, it's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad, though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red, and good deeds are white. Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard a peaceful place. Mm, that's true. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I was falling into Yorick's voice. I'm sure you don't. Uh, you better take a good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. Creepy voyeur. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. <laughs> right, yeah, so this is a, a breakdown of how all this stuff works. So that's kind of what I was on about with, you know, the, have, still having red skulls on things as you're trying to upgrade or improve the quality on um, the graveyard. As we unlock stuff to do with the autopsies, there are certain body parts and things that we can do to kind of reduce or mitigate some of that stuff. Uh, oh, on the subject of autopsies, donkeys just brought me another corpse. What a wonderful thing. <laughs> Grab that. You get it while it's still fresh. All I can do is remove the flesh, so I'll do that. Which does just make a mess of it. But it gives me something to chuck in this hole, so I'll have it. What I really need to do is take away all the broken shit. 
know what I need to inter you, so get in there. There. Good. And... What do I need for more autopsy stuff? Ten there. Ten there. So I need twenty and fifteen. And then that one I can't do until I get twenty-five, but that will mean that I make less errors. I'm just going to clear all this away. This will easily get me green points, because green is all stuff to do with nature. So any kind of gardening stuff and... Uh, Anything that involves, you know, kind of plants and, and that sort of stuff for the most part will yield green points. And then blue is... No, I don't need more about that. Blue is uh, kind of theological, so um, anything I do as far as, um, you know, kind of creating things for the graveyard, like... Come on, there we go. You know, creating gravestones um, or, you know, kind of markers for for graves, and what else, there's other stuff, oh yeah, like um, book writing and, and that kind of stuff, basically uh, science-y things, or, I don't know, it's kind of contradictory, um, but there is like an alchemy element that comes in later on as well, so, it somewhat kind of ties in properly, but, Let's go and build this awesome jig. Uh, I'm also going to dump this stuff. Keep things clear. Uh, carpenter's workbench. I can rotate you, so I'm going to put you there. Boof. Done. So now I can make wooden planks from flitch. And then I can make wooden markers, wooden grave fences, and wooden crosses. Cool. Right. So, I'm going to start by making some more flitch. Make another one of those. Uh, how many graves do I have at the moment? So what I'm thinking of doing is... Just making a fence for each grave. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. I may just go about making it twelve, so I've got one spare for when the next corpse comes along. So I'll queue up twelve of these. I think that's all I need. Yes. Queue twelve of those up, and let's just get working away. Oh, and all that work has got me the points I need for these two. That's grand. Right, now let's queue up 12 of these. The annoying thing about all of this stuff is these don't stack, whereas the materials themselves do. I think these ones also don't provide um, blue points, which is... Not great. I think you start getting those once you work up to stone. I think. I think that's when you start getting blue, blue points for that. Right, I've got all of these graveyard fences. I'm going to drop one on here. That gets that up to a complete zero, so that helps. Dump them all in here, because... I can still use them from there. Um, right, let's remove you. Because another thing you can do is you can also recycle stuff. Like I can get some materials back from these. So. At the moment, all we want to do is just try and get as close to just five points on the graveyard as possible. And for now, just dealing with. Mm, yeah, might as well take that away. I mean, I might, I could repair it. What have I got? I've got a stone re repair kit, so I may as well use it. Hmm. I should use it on this one. Um, fuck, how do I repair things again? I uh, don't remember. Uh, fixed grey fence, there we go. 
that really helps and that's also a good one to fix up. So that just gets us up to a solid three. It would be six if we could get rid of those skulls, but we can't do anything about that until later. I've got one more stone repair kit. Can I use that to fix this? Yes. Let's do that. And I will also fix up the gravestones for these. Okay, we've got things to minus two. Nearly there. And I'm out of energy. Oh, damn it. Nap time. The Inquisitor. I've just seen the Inquisitor. Right nearby, going up the path to Witch Hill. Oh, sad, he'll kill me. Or even worse. Calm down, I'll go and distract him. Maybe I'll find something on that hill that will help me get home. Maybe. Okay, we've got to change in direction. Oh, here we go. Everything is ready, Monsignor. Good. Were there any problems? No, Monsignor. Except there was a strange fella snooping around. Oh, there he is. Halt! Guys, calm down. I live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys. Why, he's Sir Cultist for sure. Or for certain, Monsignor. Uh, I'm the graveyard keeper. I work as the keeper of the local graveyard. You can ask any of the villagers about me. Then you're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me at a witch bear at the witch burning ceremony? Uh, that would be my honor. So, how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Uh, oh, dodge the question. Well, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith and humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is o opening it again at a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. A righteous anger rises with it in my soul. We've burned thousands of witches and heretics for thirty years. It's only the beginning. He's a nice fella, isn't he? Hmm. Time to burn the witch. Apparently. Yep. So, you work with a lot of dead bodies, and Yes, sir. I think it's part of my job. And you live right beside this hill near the graveyard, that's right? Yes. Interesting, interesting. You know, I need someone to hear someone to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers. They don't go to church and even refuse to lay in their graves after death. But you're new here. You might notice something unusual. Be his friend. Sure, it'll be a pleasure to be your friend. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my trust and to be a friend of the Inquisition, you will first have to show your goodwill. So, I have a couple of minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. We can talk next Wrath Day. I got it wrong. Or any other Wrath Day. I'd like to come here. There's no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. Understood. Yeah, I think um, Pride, the day for Pride is uh, when the merchant comes in. Either that or it's the um, day where the bishop's down. I think that I think it might be the bishop actually because he's very full of himself. Right, another day begins, and well, I say another day begins. I've just woken up from a nap. I'm gonna try and get the rest of these uh, these bits here dealt with. I'd like to try and get the five points on the graveyard before the bishop comes back. So we might try and tidy up the actual headstones as well. 
So we're at minus one. We need to push that up by six points. Which I think is achievable. Especially seeing as I've got um, some stuff that I can break down, like these I can kind of recycle. Uh, although actually I think I can only turn them into... Oh wait, where, where is it I do that? I can make wood from these bits and I don't remember how. I'll figure it out in time. For now, they can all just sit in there. Although that stone grave fence could still be of use. I may want to fix that up at some point. But let's have a look at wooden crosses. Ah, damn, I need iron for that because I need nails. And I don't have the materials for making a furnace. Yeah. Let me... did I finish clearing out everything down here? I did not! I might be able to get some more. Flick your nails, nice. Ooh, and a recipe. Simple and tasty. Didn't get myself much in the way of nails. Shame. What is the recipe? Baked mushrooms and baked apples. That is simple and... Tasty to some, I'm sure. Maybe not so much me. So, I think what we'll do... Ooh, what we should do is head down to the lighthouse. And my shovel broke. Fantastic. Alright, I'll fix that up, and then we'll wander down to the lighthouse, because we can go and see uh, the astrologer. Oh, there's a guy around here I need to speak to as well. Where is he? There you are. Crazy old owners, dude. This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. And I know what truly matters. What? Oh, do you think he can understand? No, Dick, he won't, because he can't see. Okay, then I'll tell him a sweet lie. The only thing that matters are peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. Would you argue with him? Maybe crazy, but he's on to something. Uh, here we are, the old astrologer. Hi. Are you the astrologer? I used to be. Now I'm more of a lost soul in this dead-end world. I'm the new graveyard keeper, and seems I need your help. Everyone needs something, except me. Knowledge brings only sadness, young man. You seem pretty happy. The trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me? Let me see. You're looking after the graveyard. Yes. It's quiet. Bring me a skull. It's pretty illegal, but who cares about that stupid Inquisitor's law? The talking one? Jerry? He's kind of my friend. I don't think it would be appropriate. No, I just need a simple skull from any dead body. Okie doke. And that's all I need to do with him. For now. <laughs> just bring him a skull. Okay, uh, let me... Oh, I haven't bought the teleport stone yet. I forgot about that. I was just going to teleport my way back home. But I can't. Ooh, let me check this. Fresh eggs. Learn how to make an omelette. Nice. And I will need feathers. At some point. I need ways of earning money first, though. I think I've got a burial certificate to sell. Should give me some money so I can buy a teleport stone at the very least. Yep. You have that. I'll have this. And we consider that a good day. To sweet home. Nice. Okay, uh, what do I want to build? I kind of want to build a furnace. 
I need more stone. Then when I find some iron, I can start metalworking. And on the subject of iron, let's dig some of this up. Should have enough stone to make a furnace now. Uh, yep. I'll put you there. Boom. Done. And... Ooh, let's make some firewood. Oh, I need the, um... This. Because I need to be able to make a chopping spot, I think. Yes, I need... A little bit more in the way of wood billets. I need a smallish tree. You'll do. Alright, chopping spots. Um, stick it there. And we'll just make... We'll use the rest of our wood billets just to make some firewood. We can start smelting down the iron that we've got. There we go. Right. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Uh, it's the end of a full week. So we'll start on, you know, um, Pride Day and then end on it, I think. Just kind of, you know, this has taken about now, so that's not too bad to get through a full week. Uh, that will kind of, you know, vary from, you know, episode to episode possibly, just because I may spend more time doing stuff and, you know, intercutting that with rest times and all that nonsense. But... No, I'm looking forward to like really diving into this with the intention of properly finishing it. So it's going to be really dumb, it's going to be lots of fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing how I'm going to get on with things. But for now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here, so I'll just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays and Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Whoa! What happened? I can't sit- I can't turn around.